Okay, so um, just doing a little snippet here for, um, I had it all set up, so I thought I'd just uh, do a quickie. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to, uh, I've modified my compressor housing on my turbo, and um, I'll show you what I'm doing, and I'm going to weld it up. So here we go. Okay, so this is my compressor housing. As you can see, it's a little bit weird. Um, it just so happens uh, that's the way it has to be. Um, the reason being is, you know, fitting a three and a half litre V6 in the back of the little tiny car is, uh, takes up a bit of room and this is the best solution I can come up with. I've tried to make this as flowing as possible, come around the turbo in a nice, you know, not sort of changing angles or direction, it's sort of all like a big snail still. Um, I've given myself a bead on the end here and a bit of straight, there's about an uh, inch and a half of straight there, 30 mil straight, um, that the pipe can clamp onto because you cannot clamp properly onto a curve. So we got that sorted now. Um, I'm not the greatest welder in the world but um, I've tacked this all together, some big um, ugly tacks, um, hopefully I should be able to pull it off, weld it together and make it look alright um, at this area here it's going to be difficult because it's welded onto the old cast Acetone is your friend Welding in a singlet is not recommended Okay, so uh, we have uh, finished this up. It's not the prettiest of things, as you can see, but um, we got the job done. Some of the welds come out good, just considering we're welding onto this cast. Um, you know, some of them are not bad. Um, and what I've also done is I've welded a little brace on here to um, sort of, because this is only thin walled tubing. Um, just to take a bit of the pressure off um, any forces that might be acting on that pipe there. <clears throat> so, and um, obviously it's down here I've uh, tidied up my mess, tidied up my mess here. It was pretty ugly. Um, because of my torch, you'd think you'd better get in there with a skinny torch, but because my torch has got the long tail on it, I haven't got an option for a small tail. It, um, I couldn't get the angle in there right or anything, so um, ended up sort of building a bit of a mess in there. But I've, I've, I've uh, hidden it with a die grinder. Die grinder is my best friend, and um, it all looks like it's all sealed up pretty good. And um, so now we can put this on the car, and another thing done. Okay, it's all in there. I've just uh, set it in there, around about the uh, right uh, clocking, and it looks pretty good. Pipes all still fit, and I've got my might be able to see it. My air filter. Oh, here we are. Air filter sticking out the out the side of the car there, and the vent wrapped up in a plastic bag. Um, so that is another bit done. I'm pretty happy with all that. So, um, onwards and upwards.